What is good, YouTube? It is your boy Spiffy back with another video. As y'all see from the title and thumbnail in today's video, I got y'all with the best dunk packages in NBA 2K20, dog. These are the most unblockable dunks, and all these dunks will help activate those contact dunks so you get more contact dunks. You feel me? First off, I want to say this video is going to be a little bit shorter than usual. You feel me? Um, I'm trying to do what I do with my jump shot videos two to three gameplays, um, and then show the dunks at the end. But it wasn't working like that, dog. I was trying to do all dunks so I could show you the dunks in action. But, dog, after I did, like, two to three dunks, people was literally camping paint. Like, people rather me shoot threes and end games quick than dunk. People are so weird. Same thing was happening when I was going for Legend, dog. People literally camped under the rim so I can't get lobs. But they rather me shoot threes and end the game quick, dog. People are weird. Um, but, yeah, in today's video, I got you out the best dunk animation in NBA 2K20. The best dunk package in NBA 2K20, dog. So, let's get it. So in today's video, there's no gameplay. Like I said, I'm sorry for that. Nothing I could do. I played like 50 games trying to get gameplay. It wasn't working out, dog. I'm sorry. Anyways, let's get to the best dunks and layups, though. You feel me? So first off, layups, we got Russell Westbrook. This layup is very good for taking contact, finishing at the rim with contact. This layup also has a nice little Euro step, as you see right there, to avoid contact. With the right badges, you will make every contested layup with this layup. As you see, every layer Russell Westbrook has is ready for contact, so this layer package is amazing. I recommend you put this on. Next, we got the straight arm tomahawk, dog. This dunk is very unblockable. It's very explosive. It's good if you beat someone to the rim, and it's good on a fast break. You feel me? This dunk's cool, explosive, unblockable. It's valid. Next, we got the sidearm tomahawk. This dunk is a little more unblockable than the straight arm tomahawk just because it's a sidearm. So basically, if there's someone to your right and you do a sidearm tomahawk, you're bringing your hand all the way to like your side. That's why it's called a sidearm tomahawk. So it's going to be unblockable. If someone's on your left and you do a sidearm tomahawk, they're not going to block it because your hand is right. As you see right there, it's all the way to the right and vice versa. If you're, if you're dunking with your left hand and it's all the way to the left and there's someone on your right, they're not going to be able to block you. You feel me? So this is a very unblockable dunk. I like it. Next, we got the athletic side tomahawk. This dunk's just like the sidearm tomahawk, but a little more explosive. As you see, athletic, so it's a little more explosive. You can get contact dunks. Like if someone's under the rim, you will dunk on them with this dunk. It look, it looks kind of like a leaning slam slash sidearm tomahawk. So for me, it's like they put the sidearm tomahawk and leaning slam in one, and this is what it turned out to. Next, we got the athletic athletic front tomahawk. This is also like the leaning slam, you feel me? If someone's under the rim, you will get a contact dunk with this dunk. I've gotten plenty of contact dunks with this athletic front tomahawk. So yeah, I'm gonna put that on. Next, we got the baseline clutch reverse uh, right here. This dunk is very good for the baseline. You will not get blocked. It's good if you're going baseline because you gotta have them baseline dunks on. It's very cheesy, it bail out. Like if someone's under the rim, you will just dunk on their head. Like, baseline dunks, they're cheesy, dog. You gotta put this one on. It's unblockable. Trust me. Next, we got the baseline reverse off one. This one is a little more unblockable than the baseline clutch reverse because as you see right there, it's very quick, easy, and simple. I've been using this baseline reverse off one dunk since NBA 2K17. I've been using it every 2K since. So that says a lot, dog. Next, we got the windmill baseline reverse uh right here this dunk's a little bit flashier but if, if there's a center in the paint and you do this window baseline reverse you will dunk on their head trust me i've dunked on a lot of centers head using this dunk you feel me there was right under the rim i did the windmill baseline reverse and i just dunked on their head it's unblockable it's very flashy you could do this in 1919 situations it's a good dunk though I'll put this on next we got the windmill reverse uh right here one more reverses. So this dunk's a little bit more flashier. In a 1919 situation, you won't do this dunk. Like it's not recommended to do this dunk 1919 because you can get blocked. But this dunk is like you're not gonna get blocked. But like you don't want to do this flashy type dunk in a 1919 situation. You want to do this like obviously like a flashy situation. Like if you get a steal or if you get like a block, you run up the court. You you could do this dunk. You feel me? If you have the wide open lane, you could do this dunk. But don't be doing this dunk in a 1919 situation, dog. That's a fact. That's a little flashy dunk. Next, we got switch rules. This is also a flashy dunk. Switch rules. Um, this dunk activates your contact dunks. I've gotten lots of contact dunks with the switch rules dunk. So you want to put this on. I've gotten a lot of dunks switching from my left hand to my right hand. Or my right hand to my left hand and just dunking on them. Them falling on the floor. So this dunk activates a lot of contact dunks. So you want to put this one on, dog. 
Next, you got the leaning slam, bro. The leaning slams. If someone's under the rim and you activate the leaning slam dunk or this dunk activates, whatever you want to say, they're falling on the floor, dog. Especially if it's like a center or like a weak guard, GG. And if you have takeover and you do the leaning slam dunk, it's over. I'm telling you, you're going to get a lot of contact dunks with this dunk, dog. It's very explosive and unblockable, of course, because look where the ball's at. You're not going to get blocked. Next, we got the straight arm tomahawk again, you feel me? So basically, I had one extra slot that I didn't want to put in. Because like all the other dunks was like, like cockback dunks. So all the other dunks I did not want to put on. I had one open slot, so I put the straight arm tomahawk. Why? Because I don't want to have, like, you know how you can have, like, none? I don't want to have that. Like, I want to have every single slot filled up because I don't want it to give me a random dunk. Because, I don't know, whenever I do, like, a random dunk, I feel like, yo, it's because I have, like, this is what I mean. How do I, right here. Like, I don't want it to be like that. You feel me? Because I feel like it's going to give me a random um, back scratcher dunk and I'm going to get blocked. I'd rather just fill that up with another dunk. And I also feel like if you fill that up, you will get that dunk a little more often. So, um, yeah, that's why I did it. Next, we got the basic 360s. You feel me? This is a basic 360 dunk. Where is it at? Uh, right here. Basic 360s. It's cool. Like, like I say, you're running up the court, a little basic 360 dunk. You can get contact dunks with this dunk. Like, if you do this dunk, they will fall on the floor. Trust me. This is another dunk that activates those contact dunks. Next, we got Michael Jordan. You feel me? Michael Jordan is a, a pretty good dunk. You get that um, split legs dunk. You see where he splits his leg. That dunk is sexy. And also, you get a cradle dunk. So, it's cool. Versatile. So, you get a little cradle dunk. Oops. My bad. Next, we got Zach Levine. Zach Levine has one of the most unblockable dunks in NBA. You feel me? Like, these dunks are amazing. They, don't, they do not get blocked. Look at these dunks. You will dunk on people too. Next, we got Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook. I only use Russell Westbrook on fast breaks. Because obviously, fast. we all know Russell Westbrook has the best fast break dunks in NBA history. So, obviously, I use um, Russell Westbrook just for his um, fast break dunks. You feel me? You don't want to use his dunks too much in real game. Like in like a 1990 situation. Well, you can, but it's like you might get that back scratcher animation because he does have an animation where you do a back scratcher. So that's why I only use his dunks on fast breaks. All right, now let's get to the alley oops. The alley oops, I have pro alley oops. Let me catch some lobs. And then my other alley oop, I got the elite alley oop. See, so I can really catch the lobs. Then for the contact dunks, I have pro contact dunks. You see, dunk on them right there. Mm. Next, we got the elite contact dunks. Hey. Hey, and then we got the small contact dunks. Mm. All right, yeah, and to get all of these, like, all right, so now if y'all want to know how to get all these dunks and how to get all these contact dunks, I'm about to put you on right now. So if you make any slasher BP build, um, slasher playmaker type build, you got to have an 85 ball control, I believe it is. You have to have, oh, not ball control, my fault. I'm tripping, yeah, my fault. You gotta have an 85 driving dunk, you feel me? So if you wanna have all those dunks that I have, those contact dunks and everything, you have to have an 85 driving dunk it is. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's an 85 driving dunk. Um, so yeah, 84, 85, it's one of those. So if y'all like looking at those dunks and y'all don't have them, it's cause y'all don't have an 85 driving dunk. So y'all wanna make sure y'all have an 85 driving dunk before purchasing these. Or if y'all trying to purchase them, and you can't, it's obviously because you don't have an 85 driving dunk. And also, one thing I was going to say about these dunks is, so basically, if you want to do like an over-the-top dunk, like you want to put the ball over your head like Russell Westbrook does, when you dunk, click up on the right stick. If you want to dunk with your left hand, um, you make, put your left stick, I mean, put your right stick to the left. If you want to dunk with your right hand, put your right stick to the right when you're dunking. And if you want to do a flashy dunk, put your right stick down. And if you want to get a contact dunk, you click square. And if you want to do a reverse dunk and you're on the right side, you take your right stick to the right. And if you want to do a reverse dunk while you're on the left side, you do it like on the left baseline, you do the right stick to the left. So recap, if you want to do an over the head dunk like a back scratcher, you put your right analog stick up when you're dunking. If you want to do a flashy dunk, you put your right stick down. If you want to do a left hand dunk, like when you're coming down the court, let right stick to the left. If you want to do a right hand dunk, put your right stick to the right. If you're on the right baseline and you're trying to do a baseline dunk, you do um, your right stick to the right. And if you're on the left side of the baseline, like the left side of the court baseline, 
you want to do the right analog stick to the left. And if you want to do a flashy dunk, down. And if you want to do a contact dunk, you click square. Those things will all be make you become a better dunker. So like obviously throughout the video, I was saying you don't want to do this flashy dunk in a 1990 situation. Because you could control that. If you click down on the right stick, you could really do a flashy dunk. So you don't want to you don't want to click down on the right stick on a 1990 situation, you feel me? That's only if you're by yourself down the court. And obviously, I abuse the left and right um dunks because obviously if someone's to the, my left, I'm gonna do a right hand dunk. If someone's to my right, I'm gonna do a left hand dunk, you feel me? So I hope those tips helped you. I hope you enjoyed the video, man. Make sure to leave a like for me giving you these um dunk animations, dunk packages. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a comment if these dunk packages are valid. Make sure to sub up and turn on post notice for future videos. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links in the description. And I'll highlight you, man. I hope you enjoyed the video. And peace. Have a good one.